KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets in negative territory approaching session lows. Right now, the S&P negative by 50 points, trading at 2890. That's a solid 1.7% in the red. You have the NASDAQ off 1.1%, off 104 points at 89.31, and the Dow off 1.7% as well, trading 24,155. The Dow down from overnight highs of 24,000. 792. Oil catching a bid, but backing off a bit over about the last three hours or so. Crude now almost $2 off of the highs we made at 1862. And that's in the last two and a half hours. We'll see if crude can hold those price levels or trade lower for the end of the day. Gold contract trading lower as well. Check out gold's acceleration from early this morning at 1730. Excuse me, gold now trading at 16.93. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow, 24,140. It's been a steady decline since about midnight Eastern time. You see the volatility that we got at about 8 o'clock, 7.45 trading lower. We also got volatility on the 8.30 weekly jobless claims number. We'll jump over to that number in a moment, 3.84 million, bringing the six-week total to more than 30 million for weekly jobless claims. Now, NASDAQ 100 trading at 89.17. Big week of earnings for the FANG stocks. We cap it off tonight with Amazon and Apple, both after the bell. Should be exciting. S&P is trading at 28.86. The lows of the session, only a few points below where we're at right now, 28.83. Crude oil, as we mentioned, 16.71 currently. Gold trading lower at 16.92. And we got natural gas inventories today as well. Natural gas trading at 190.72. In terms of what we have happening, driving the market action, and uh, it's just following headlines, <laughs> Mike Pence wears coronavirus mask after criticism of Mayo Clinic visit. Think what you may about that. But weekly jobless claims 3.84 million, topping 30 million over the last six weeks. In terms of the earning front, why not? We'll jump to the two giants. Amazon, after the bell, ahead of that, up about 2% when the market is in negative territory. And how about the Analyze tab? Amazon, the expected move, $130. And how about Apple's expected move? I think we're around 10 or 11 bucks. $10.88 for those numbers. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White, live at 2 o'clock. And Steve Rhodes coming up, filling in for Tom, live at 3. We'll be right back.